Hello everyone and welcome to our class video about dilation, stretches, and compressions. Our learning goal is that you'll be able to graph and write the mapping rule for dilation, stretches, and compressions. Imagine that. Okay, so this is continuing in our uh, series on transformations. We've already discussed translations, so now let's talk about these. Alright, so for a translation, our mapping rule looks something like, oh, x plus 3 and y minus 2. Okay, we were adding or subtracting something from the x and y coordinates. But let's say, what would happen if we multiplied the x and y coordinates by some number? Okay, so let's say that we have a mapping of x, y changes to 2x and 2y. So we're multiplying the x and y coordinates by 2. Okay, so a used to be negative 2, 2. So now a prime is going to be negative 4, 4. Likewise, b is going to change to 0, 4. c will change to 4, negative 2. And d will change to negative 2, negative 2. Okay, so let's plot that and just see what it looks like. There's a, b, c, and d prime right there. Okay, and let's go ahead and connect them. All right, so what has happened to that figure? Well, obviously, it's gotten bigger. Okay, in fact, it's exactly two times bigger. You can look specifically at the, for example, top sides here and notice that the on the side length a prime to b prime is twice the length as it was from a to b. The same goes for c to d compared to c prime to d prime. Okay, so this is what we call a dilation. So a dilation is a transformation in which the figure becomes larger or smaller by a scale factor. Okay, in that sense, they're similar figures, just like we talked about earlier. Okay, so obviously this one got bigger. We have some terms for when a dilation makes the figure larger and when a dilation makes the figure smaller. A dilation where the figure becomes larger is called an enlargement. Okay, that's what we just did. When it becomes smaller, the dilation is called a reduction. Okay, to reduce usually means to get smaller. So there you go. Let's do an example of a reduction. So instead of multiplying by 2, let's say I multiply by a half. Multiplying by half is the same as dividing by 2. So I would be dividing the coordinates of A, B, C, and D by 2. I won't add those to the table, but here's what it would look like. Okay? Whereas A and B used to have a Y coordinate of 2, now they have a Y coordinate of 1. Also, their X coordinates have been divided by 2. So here the figure has become half the size as it was. Okay? So. That's an example of a dilation. We're multiplying the numbers or the coordinates by some scale factor. Okay? So, now, what if we only multiplied the x-coordinates? Well, that would be a mapping that looks like x changing to 2x, but y remains the same. So, it's 2xy. Alright, so if I multiply all the x-coordinates of the original figure, the pre-image, by 2, I would get negative 4, 0, 4, and negative 2. The y-coordinates stay the same. We're only multiplying the x-coordinates. So I'll just keep those the same. Okay? So let's graph those and see what that looks like. Okay? We've got a prime, b prime, c prime, and d prime. Notice that b prime didn't change because well, 0 multiplied by 2 is still 0, so the point's still in the same place. Okay. Connecting them. Okay, that's what our new figure looks like. That is definitely not similar to the original figure. But it has been stretched horizontally. So, we're going to call that a horizontal stretch. Okay. Horizontal meaning in the x direction. So, we have stretched it horizontally side to side. 
Okay, notice the stretch is all relative to where the y-axis is. Each point becomes twice as far as it was from the y-axis. Okay, so if we make it smaller in the x direction only, we're going to call that a horizontal compression. Okay, so a mapping rule for that would look like multiplying all the x's by one half, which is the same as dividing by two, and still keeping the y's the same. Okay, that looks like the blue figure on the picture. Okay, we've taken all the x coordinates and divided them by two. So it looks like it's been squished in the horizontal direction rather than stretched. Okay, so what about if we multiply only the y coordinates? Okay, well, here we go. So a mapping for that would look like x comma 2y. We multiplied all the y coordinates by 2. It could be some other number. It's just 2 is a convenient one for a smaller picture. Okay, so if I multiply all the y coordinates by 2, I would get 4, 4, negative 2, and negative 2. Right? x coordinates stay the same. There's no difference. All right, so let's plot those on the picture. Got a prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime, and connect the dots. Okay, so just kind of like we had in the last one, it's been stretched. And we're going to call this one a vertical stretch because we stretched it in the Y direction. Okay, it's like we pulled on both ends and stretched it away. It's all relative to where the X axis is. Each point has become twice as far away from the X axis as it was where it started. If we make it smaller, well, we'll call that a vertical compression. Okay, so what would that look like? The mapping would be x comma one-half y. We would take all the y coordinates and divide by 2. That would look like this. There's a prime, b prime, c prime, and d prime, okay, and our new figure. Okay, so that's been squished in the y direction. It's been compressed. Okay. So, that's the way you can dilate or stretch or compress individual figures. I want to make one more observation before we're done. Okay, so after a dilation, looking back at what we had before, after a dilation, okay, that figure became either twice the size or half the size. Or it could be some other multiple if we chose a different number. Okay, so the, after a dilation, the image is similar to the original figure. For a stretch or compression, now, those figures aren't the same shape but different size. They're not similar. Okay, so not so for a stretch or compression. It's just with a dilation, the image is similar to the original figure. All right, that's it. We'll practice doing some of these transformations during class.